Today we are going to turn this mini computer into a mini server so that you can have your files on the cloud on your own cloud and besides that being able to install services with one single click like for example AdGuard Home or Home Assistant, Photo Prism and much more. It's really simple. I'll be using the Shui U-Box, which is a really awesome mini computer and affordable, but you can use any computer that you have. But if you have a really old computer, then probably it will waste a lot of energy. Now, this one right over here has an AMD Ryzen 5 6600 H CPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigs SSD with multiple ports on the front and at the back, which we have covered in the past video. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. First of all, let's go to Google and search for Zima OS. On the Zima OS page, just head to releases and then download the latest OS image that you can find available. If you don't have already Rufus, you will need to download it. So if you don't, just search on Google for Rufus and download it. Once you have it, just open Rufus and plug in a USB flash drive that you have. This will be the pen that will be used to create the installation drive. Just drag the Zima OS image into Rufus and click Start. It will take about two to three minutes and once it's finished that is it we are ready to start using it now before i start you know that this computer without any screws open it up and i did remove the original ssd which has 512 gigs with two ssds of two terabytes each but this is completely optional. I've shared a few videos in the past how we can add external SSDs and hard drives so that we can expand the storage on Zima OS and Casa OS. So I will try to leave some links down below. Once you have your storage ready, just plug in the USB pen drive and let's start the computer. Once it boot ups, we just need to press delete so that we can access the BIOS and then just go to the last menu tab and select USB stick as the boot drive. Then the ZimOS installer will start. Just select install, choose the drive where you want to have Zima OS to be installed. In my particular case, as I do have two drives or two SSDs, they will appear both. But if you only have one, then you will have only one to choose. Once we choose that, the installation will start and it will take about another three to four minutes. Once it's done, we just need to remove the USB drive and press OK to reboot. And once it reboots, you can just put in the computer elsewhere because we don't need a monitor or a keyboard. Now, if we have the monitor plugged in still, we can check out the IP address that the computer has. And right now on any computer on our network, I will be able to manage it. As you can see, I've got a IP address of 192.168.2.200, which I place in on a browser on one of my computers and we land it on the setup screen. We just need to select our language, create a username and passwords, and that is it. We are on the dashboard. And we can do a lot with Zim OS, as we have seen on some past videos, I will try to leave some links down below, but one of the coolest things is the ability with just one click to install our favorite services. Now, at this moment, there are 83 apps that we can install, but as we have seen in past videos, we can add more repositories so that we have more apps. Now, let's say that you want to install AdGuard Home to block ads and trackers on your network. We just need to select install and that is it. If we want Home Assistant, the same deal. We just need to select it and install. Of course, I'm not configuring any of these apps, but just as an example, because these are apps that I use on a daily basis. If you want to use Photo Prism to replace your iCloud or Google Photos library, you just need to select it, install, and that is it. You are good to go. You can now have all the photos that you have on your devices 
And it doesn't matter if we use iCloud or Google Drive or any other cloud service. At this moment, I have the option, for example, with Photo Prism, to have all my photos stored from the phones that I select, mine and my family members, into this mini server. Just don't forget about the backups, which is something that I already mentioned here, and it's just critical we need backups of our critical data and if you are working with pictures and multimedia that you have then backup 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 and it's easy you can just connect an external usb drive and select it as a backup and you will have the backup of the photos and videos that you have right over here into a backup so if anything happens to your server you still get everything without losing nothing and that is it now it's up to you to install any app that you see fit for your usage but the idea is this to turn a mini computer into a mini server with the less effort possible and to be easy enough as we have just seen with one single click i can select multiple apps install those apps and then i can also drag files i can have my documents on the cloud i can work with excel powerpoint and things like that open them up as if they were in drop Box and Google Drive and things like that. And the only limitation that I've got right over here are the hard drives that I do connect to the computer that I choose. So in this particular moment, I've got four terabytes available to use. Now, if I use four terabytes on the cloud, that's going to be quite expensive. Having in mind that we will pay a monthly fee and at the end of the year and at the end of 10 years, I'm not purchasing any hardware. I'm just paying for a service, which is fair. But what if I put that service on my house, I do a small investment and in a few years, it will be more than paid and I have almost no limits. That being said, hope that you enjoyed the video. Hope that you enjoyed to know a little bit better about the Shui U-Box, which is a really awesome and budget machine. If that was the case, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.